Aloha friends and family, Brian Cusco here. We got a special clutch for you today. This is a special clutch because we try to produce this clutch every year. Well, it's not going to be every year, but we're going to try to produce a clutch like this every year because there's a lot of folks out there, luckily for us, that want to get triple B snakes but don't necessarily have the funds to throw at some of the projects we have going like the Clown Pride project and the, the Sunset project and, and things like that. So we, we like to have some more affordable snakes for folks out there and this is one of those clutches. It's a uh, Sunset <laughs> Super Pastel Lesser, our boy, boy, our bar, bar, bar. God, put the whiskey down, Cusco. We we got a Super Pastel Lesser. He's Bullwinkle, and unfortunately, he's deep, deep in shed right now. This guy is one of the most beautiful snakes here at Triple B, actually. Super bright and, and yellow, and but unfortunately, he's just deep in shed and just looking really dull and faded right now but you know he's still beautiful in his own right but man what you see in, in an upcoming vlog as soon as this guy sheds out i'll show him so here's bullwinkle from the future as you can see he just shed out and he's looking phenomenal yeah bullwinkle you're a stud a stud yes he's father of the clutch and then we've got bernice who is a super fire and Bernice was a snake we got from Brian Barczyk back in 2014. Bullwinkle actually we got from Freedom Breeder back around the same time. And she is trying to hide her head, but she is a gorgeous, gorgeous super fire, pure white. And since the pairing was super pastel to super fire, of course, all of the babies will firefly because Bullwinkle always passes on pastel to all his offspring. And, and she, being a super fire, passes on fire off to all her offspring. That's just kind of how, how it works. Check her out. Look at that black eye. I just love black eye leukistic animals, man. Yeah, it's gorgeous. It's a gorgeous snake, Bernice. We got almost perfect odds on this clutch. And what I mean by perfect is that they were almost exactly to the percentages and the, the ratio of chance that we had for the pairing is almost exact. So this dude right here, and he is a dude, is a firefly. And he's super, super beautiful, man. Fireflies are just beautiful in their own right. But look at this black and yellow together. And another thing fireflies will have a lot um, is that kind of white fading into their head stamp. And a lot of that contrast between the black and yellow. And just dark, dark, dark blacks. One of the distinguishing features I found on this guy, which I always try to find a distinguishing feature on each snake. Right towards the middle of his back here, there's kind of this like face pattern that it, it reminds me of have you ever seen the movie uh labyrinth which if you haven't seen that you should really go watch that movie great classic movie and there's that scene where she's being dropped down that hole full of helping hands and it just it just reminds me of the faces that those hands are making down there but look at this dude he is he's is beautiful and there he is he's beautiful and after like four five six meals here in a row he could be yours could be going right to your home. Now, if I was going to keep back a snake from this clutch, it would be this boy right here. And he is also a firefly. But just something about his pattern. I mean, there's this extra darkness going on in the black. And he's got some nice blushing of the side. But just his whole pattern. It almost has this kind of like GHI thing going on where there's all this... Look at all the alien heads and keyholes kind of crossing over the top of his back. It really kind of reminds me of, of GHI in a way. But obviously, there's no GHI in the pairing. And it could potentially be something new, to, but it would obviously they have to be proved out. But it's just really, really different pattern than I've ever seen on, on a firefly in this guy. And of course, the nice white blushing at the back of the head. Just a really beautiful example of a firefly here. And the distinguishing feature on this guy, he's got all kinds of cool faces and things you can find in this. But there's one thing in particular, that little, that little face right there, that little... Whatever's going on with that, it kind of looks like a uh, a character from Star Wars or something. I can't really, I'm not showing it well, but it's right right there. Doesn't it remind you of a, a certain Star Wars character? It really reminds me of that, and that's the that's the distinguishing feature on this boy right here. But man, and then look at that big giant blush spot right there, almost white coming through. Just another phenomenal example of a firefly. Beautiful. And this is gonna be snake number three from the clutch. This is a female firefly. And she's all twisted up on herself. Just another beautiful snake. She's got real nice peaches coming in. And as far as the white blushing on the back of the head, her white blushing is the brightest of the snakes we've seen so far. There are several sections on this snake where it says 808. And 808 is not only... The, there they go. It's not only the area code for Hawaii, 
but it's also i know there's an 808 ball pythons out there 808 ball pythons i think this is your snake this is your girl right here i think you need this snake look at all those 808s it's like 808 heaven up in there 808 808 boom look at that 808 it's your snake come on hit me up i wanted to compare her to the enchi firefly that we produced in earlier this week now this is the enchi firefly right here and I don't know if you can tell, but if I can get the camera to focus. So you can see the difference between an Enchi Firefly versus a Firefly. And of course, this this girl right here is also Double Heck Clown Pied. So you got that influence as well. But you can just see how much cleaner the pattern is. There's no holes in the alien heads. There's no alien heads at all. It's just completely clean pattern. Well, there's a couple little spots, but barely. And uh, the banding towards the end of the tail that goes across the back of the body. That That is another feature right there that sets the Enchi apart from just Firefly. So we got the Firefly and then Enchi Firefly. Double head clown pie too, but you know, I shouldn't be shaking the snakes like that. Don't do it again, Cusco. Okay. Before I get the last snake, Eli really wanted to talk to you guys about something. I'm gonna get him. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen. All right, but what did you want to say to the people? Um, comment down below if you know what the fish Noah caught at on the boat where we go fishing. And that was the end of it. Oh, that's it? Yep. All right, bud. All right, guys, comment down below. You heard the man. All right, Eli, see you later, bud. Oh, yeah, I'm going to hold some snakes. Don't you worry about it. <laughs> so here's that third girl again that we just looked at. And I wanted to show her compared to the last girl, which is this Firefly Lesser right here. And you can kind of see the difference. It's, it's fairly obvious, I think, that the Lesser just really lightens up the snake and takes out all the blacks and turns them into a light kind of tan hue and then the blushing that ends up coming up on this snake is just incredible on this particular animal it's just the, the look at all the blushing coming up in between the alien heads on the sides it's just like nothing but blushing there's almost like no solid colors in between the alien heads it's like all blushed out and then the back has just this long dorsal pattern striping going on she's just a beauty Firefly lesser girl and then you still got that firefly head stamp where you got the blushing on the top But the lesser kind of brings back in some of that tan kind of coloration. So oh, it's Gorgeous animals man. It's it really those guys that are that produce snakes, you know how it feels You know the feeling I'm talking about when it's just the most amazing thing to watch these babies come out of the eggs and and Just new life new snake life and if you, those guys that haven't done it yet. I mean you, If you plan to do it, you, you're looking forward to some just an amazing feeling of, of making this happen, watching it happen, being witness to the amazing emergence of life. It's it's amazing. All right, what do you think? I think it's time for Cinematic Snake Saturday, don't you?
you guys like that. It's interesting that the two females were running around like crazy trying to jump off the table, and the males have literally been here balled up the entire cinematic session. Just interesting. Oh, wait a minute. No. No, one of these is the male. The female has the really blushed out head. Okay, anyway. Just to... Wait, am I sure about that? Anyway, we had two males, two females, and one Firefly Lesser and three Fireflies. That's why I said it was almost perfect odds, because we had had two Firefly Lessers and two fam females and two males. Then we made exact odds for what we would have gotten the clutch for the four snakes. Uh, yeah, 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 we're just we're talking about... Mm, oh, it's a good time. Anyway, interesting. Two on the move, two stand still. We hit odds even on personality. <laughs> I hope you guys are having a great day. Continue to have a great day. Uh, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. We'll see you on the next one. Next one will be a bit more of a family vlog, and we'll really dig in hard on that music Monday, all right? Y'all take care. Bye.